titanium lock. Ultramarine blue. And the clear yellow. This works wonderfully. And burnt umber. Okay, I'm using a palette knife. I have a titanium white here on the palette. The lemon yellow. It's kind of hard to see. There's a glare in your burnt umber. And I've mixed ultramarine blue and burnt umber together. And I have a gray reserved over here for the row, the white part of the row, but you will be seeing here shortly. And again, if you like this channel, be sure and uh, hit the thumbs up and ring the bell so you'll be sent those notifications and you don't miss a thing. And I'm just getting my brushes set up over here on the table and my palette set up. And I want everyone to see all these colors again. So you will all know which colors I have again on the palette. And I hope everyone's having a wonderful Valentine's Day week. Uh, this is uh, one of the painting tutorials I mentioned in the last video. Uh, that this would be a, a Valentine tree for all my subs out there of me painting. And I'm working on the folds and I'm using some of that grayish color that I just showed you all that I had on the palette. And again, when this all dries, it's going to be much easier to work with and come in with some of that fine detail that you do have in the folds on any row. Working in this elbow area. Later on, I'm going to be slimming up this arm a little bit and show you how I'm going to line up the right shoulder to where more of the chest line is coming down. And up here at the top, I'm going to move on down, well up here, this line right here. And I want to kind of fade that in a little bit with this grayish color. We don't want too much true white, even though I've pre-mixed it. This area is still way too bright. Now, at the end, when you're coming in with those final touches, uh, that's a wonderful time for the titanium white. And now I'm just loading up some of the darker gray on the filbert that I showed you at the beginning of the video. And again, these uh, filbert brushes, they work wonderfully. And I do experiment with different paint brushes. And just see what I achieve in my painting. Now, this does look quite differently 
than the last tutorial. It's been a while since you all seen this one. I know I haven't showed you all at home and all of my subscribers have not seen me actually painting on this one, but I have in my spare time. I do have two other ones that I'm currently working on and YouTube has changed a little bit. So I did not get the title on the last video, but uh, in case, well, for all of those of you who have not seen the last uh, painting tutorial, I didn't actually paint in it, but that one is dream number two of the dream series. And again, here is that line and shoulder area that I was telling you all about that I'm going to be bringing in and bringing it down to broaden the chest area a little more later on when this paint dries. And the neckline that you are all seeing here, this is not definite by no means. It will be uh, more rounded off there to the, more towards the right side of his chin. And again, when you're working with folds, you know, remember it's just lines and different shading and lighting in different areas and practice. Practice does go a long ways in your paintings. Folds can seem really challenging at first, but just give it time. And remember, you know, all fabric lays and uh, curves different ways and the different ways that the light shine on it are gonna appear different. 